Would you say that's about 40 milliliters? More or less. Great. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the unscripted moments left in the Big Bang Theory. I want to put on some music. <laughs> Why? I don't want to disturb the people next door while you discipline me. How about Emily or Cinnamon? <laughs> I like bibbidi bobbidi boo. For this list, despite the fact that The Big Bang Theory was a tightly written show and there wasn't a lot of improv going on, we'll be looking at those times when the actors or a piece of paper reportedly did things a little differently than planned. There's no script for the comments, so feel free to improv your thoughts below. Number 8. Kaylee Cuoco's Tears Oh, that's gonna make me cry. <laughs> Apparently, actress Kaylee Cuoco was the big crier on set. Our sweet Penny would tear up from laughing, but was also known to cry during emotional scenes. And not just her scenes, either. We were getting super emotional. We were doing a scene before the holiday, and we were just blocking, and we were the only two in it, and just kind of rehearsing the scene, and out of nowhere, I just started bawling. Yeah. It's been said that her eyes would even water behind the scenes while watching other actors in moving scenes, like when Sheldon proposed to Amy. Word has it she wasn't the only cast member to do so either. Now, obviously there were times when the writers asked for the waterworks. And my two dearest friends in the world, Penny Hofstadter. And Dr. Leonard Hofstadter. However, the buzz around the water cooler is that many of the teared up penny moments, the tears were not part of the script, with executive producer Stephen Malero even recalling that Cuoco's unintentional crying has added poignancy to scenes. But I want you to know, in my way, I love you all. Number 7. Cracking Up well, We could wait a couple days and see it together. <laughs> the Big Bang Theory made us laugh and cry, and apparently it did the same to the actors. We already discussed Cuoco's unscripted tears, and now it's time to get to all those unwritten laughs. For future reference, if I want to watch Mean Girls, I'll stream on Netflix. <laughs> We're sorry, what do you need? While they may not have been scripted, the laughs weren't necessarily out of place. When a friend says something funny, you laugh, so it makes sense when characters do the same on a comedy show. You should know that Sheldon said he's ready to be physical. You shut your damn mouth! <laughs> it happened more often as the sitcom went on, and the actors got more comfortable with their roles. But it's hard to believe that Leonard's prolonged giggles throughout playing Emily or Cinnamon were merely scripted for Johnny Galecki to play. Who is he talking to, Emily or Cinnamon? I want you to know... The bed feels so lonely when you're not in it. <laughs> Just watch as the actor's face turns red on more than one occasion as he tries to keep the laughing to a minimum. I'm gonna say cinnamon. Yes! Yes, come on! <laughs> Number six, a page from the roommate agreement lands squarely on Sheldon's shoulder. Remember when Penny got Leonard to pretend that they were back together to make her father happy? And remember that they don't let Sheldon in on it, so he writes up a new Penny-specific section of the roommate agreement? In the meantime, I'd like to go over some proposed changes to the roommate agreement, specifically to address Penny's annoying personal habits. Now watch what happened when Leonard told him that they had broken up again. Just so you know, I was up all night, but I have finally completed the Penny-specific section of the new roommate agreement. <laughs> Yeah, well, not necessary. We broke up again. Okay, so while we don't have any proof that this moment was unscripted, we feel pretty safe putting it on the list. And you know what? If it was written that one single piece of paper was supposed to float down and land on Sheldon's shoulder, and actor Jim Parsons was able to nail this on purpose, then we will give him a standing ovation and happily post a retraction. Do you even think about other people, Leonard? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Number 5. Will Wheaton in Star Trek uniform T-15 minutes! <laughs> oh, did you hear from Will? Yeah, he's on his way. Will Wheaton had many great moments playing a fictionalized version of himself, but one of the best has got to be the time he showed up at the Star Wars premiere in a Star Trek costume. What is everyone booing at? And according to Will, the idea to come out in full Mr. Spock gear was a complete improvisation. 
None of the cast or crew knew he was going to do it, and only a few of the writers were made aware of it beforehand. So the hysterical reaction you hear isn't just from the studio audience. Hey, Will, what you doing? I was on Star Trek, just rooting for the home team. <laughs> Star Trek stinks! Yeah, live long and suck it! As Wheaton said, quote, When you can make the crew laugh, when you can kill the crew on a sitcom, it feels really, really, really good. It's like hitting a home run. Will definitely hit a home run that time. Oh, I'm just having fun. Everyone takes Star Wars so seriously. Like, if the movie's bad, it's gonna ruin their lives. Is it bad? Did you hear something? <laughs> oh my god, it's bad. Somebody kill me! Number four, Stuart saying the L word to Penny. We meet again. <laughs> Unlike other characters on the show who grew and evolved over the course of the series, Stuart seemingly went in the other direction, regressing from confident artist to sweet, desperate loser. Okay, you've got my number. Now give me the picture. Well, you drive a hard bargain, but here. And it all began with an unscripted I love you to Penny in season three. And no, it wasn't Leonard's unreturned words of adoration. It was the quietly mumbled I love you Stuart expressed to Penny when she and Leonard came to the store to find Sheldon. Is everything okay? What do you mean? Uh, Sheldon told me you and Leonard are having a fight. Oh, yeah, kind of. It's, it's no big thing. Oh, good, good. <sighs> I love you. The writers hadn't written that line in the script, but they really liked how it turned out when he said it. And according to actor Kevin Sussman, quote, After that moment, they started having me back and I noticed that they started having the character of Stuart sort of regress. Hey, Stuart, got any plans Thursday night? My, uh, my doctor's worried about my circulation, so I was thinking about walking around the mall. <laughs> Number three, Kaylee Cuoco's broken leg. No, we aren't talking about the time Penny fell in the shower. We're talking about the time Kaylee fell off a horse. And I heard <laughs> No, I really did. And I thought he landed on leaves. And I was hoping it was leaves I was hearing crackling, but that was my bones. Some fans might be aware that Penny is the only member of the original five to have not appeared in every episode. That wasn't how the writers originally planned it, though. Sheldon? Hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? Penny had to be written out of the fifth and sixth episodes of season four after she had a horse riding accident and broke her leg. They're not writing it in, which, you know, I'm not going to question it. I, I was kind of shocked. I thought they were going to, but... They're just gonna be hiding me, kind of like when you're pregnant. So mm -hmm. I thought, this is great. I can eat whatever I want. Uh -huh. Become the size of Texas, no one will know. Because they're gonna have me a bartender now, uh -huh. so like everything will be up to here. But although it was definitely a tough time for Cuoco, the accident worked out well for Penny, as it got her a promotion from waitress to bartender so that they could film her without showing the bottom half of her body upon her return. Okay, Sheldon, what can I get you? Alcohol. Could you be a little more specific? Ethyl alcohol. <laughs> 40 milliliters. Number two, Bernadette's voice. One of Bernadette's most memorable traits was her high-pitched voice, but you may remember that it wasn't always that high. Oh yeah? Does your mother call you every day at work to see if you've had a healthy lunch? My mother calls me at work to see if I had a healthy bowel movement. <laughs> when we first meet Bernie on her date with Howard, her tone is much more normal, and it isn't until a few appearances later that her voice has made the noticeable climb up Pitch Mountain. <laughs> So what happened? Well, this wasn't the writers doing, it was actress Melissa Rausch who brought that voice to the table as a way to add a fun trait to the character. Come on, do you want to sit here being a loser? Or do you want to watch me climb into an Australian man's G-string like a baby kangaroo? And she didn't have to look far to find it either. According to Rausch, the voice is very similar to that of her mother, quote, except without the Jersey accent. Wow, you still have it? I just assumed it was balled up in the corner of a barn somewhere. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, the spanking. Are you prepared to receive your punishment? Watching Sheldon put Amy over his knee and spank her is one of the great shamey scenes of the entire series, and it's also one that we weren't originally supposed to see. I was pissed, because I thought, well, damn it, I would have practiced how to control myself <laughs> if I'd have known all week, but all week I was slapping that ass off camera. In the original script, Sheldon still punishes Amy, but the act takes place off screen with the camera instead cutting to hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil monkey shots. Very well then, get over my knee, let's begin.
<laughs> oh my. We'll admit that monkeys acting like people is funny, but not as funny as seeing our uptight Sheldon putting hand to booty and seeing Amy's perfectly enjoyable reaction, which might not have been as much acting as you think. Excuse me, you're not supposed to be enjoying this. <laughs> then maybe you should spank me harder. <laughs> maybe I will. As Jim Parsons said of his co-star Mayim Bialik, Quote, you have no idea how game this one is for that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> what? <laughs> you, you were like. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.